Welcome again on my Arc Linux BHLWM, Head Up Sleuth WM. It's about installing Office uh, tools or packages or suites. There is LibreOffice, there is OpenOffice, there is WP Office, and there is also another one. Yay, only Office. Maybe this is more to your liking. So Arc Linux does not have a Office environment. Because, well, you have to choose yourself because we got these comments. Eric, it's not in uh, Arabic. Eric, it's not in Italian. Eric, it's not in... Well, the point is you install the package or the suit, the office suit you like. And there are so many out there. We've documented already. This is my fourth uh, office suit. And it always depends on the language you like or is there an, an, um, a grammar check or a syntax check and stuff like that. So it's up to you really to say, I'm gonna install it. And it's easy because you just do yay only office, say number one, and then install whatever you like. And we explained that as well for all the others. There we go. Now the bin, if it says somewhere bin, it, mean, it means binary. It means it's actually not gonna take a long time to develop. And let's have a look where it's coming from, guys. Debian. Yes, we're on Arch Linux. Yes, we're on Arch Linux, but this is a Debian package. So it's clearly coming from another part of the world where people are using, well, another Linux system, as simple as that. So that's why I keep saying, think out of the box, guys. We are one big Linux family and uh, we get our stuff from somewhere else. And that's great. We rebuild it, repackage it, and that's what this AOR does. The, Repackaging for Pac-Man for Arch Linux. And if everything is well and done, then we can actually try out this application only Office. We could see how much it is. It is a rather big package. I think this is the total. That's not uh, well, a small number. 361 megabyte. I do see we have an update already up there. Just one. Let's combine it. Sometimes you can do an update. In the meantime, while the other guy is compressing, it depends if there's a lock at that point in time on your uh, database. So something is changed from one to one, zero to one, I mean. And there we go. So that's installed almost. And then the question always with a new application is, how do I start it? If you really want to know, if you don't, don't know, by the way, I've chosen to go for Arc theme. That's why everything is so bright now. So my eyes are hurting. That's because of the fact that we've uh, installed and tested out um, Open Office. So if you check for the files, then you know what's it's what's on your machine. Uh, it seems to be an opt, for instance. That's an interesting choice. So an, an folder where lots of applications are. If you want to know what what's in my system, in opt, there is this opt folder. So Discord is here. Google only, only Office, Open Office, Spotify. These guys are all there okay fine so how do we launch this thing that's a question we can solve here somewhere but this is rather rather long list you see here the slider so that's not useful to do although we are here already we see where it is so normally you would say let's do only office desktop editors okay so you do enter aha uh -huh. so that's gonna work okay fine Control C. We are on a special kind of desktop. It's a tiling window manager, but basically you go to your menu and you boot it up. Sorry, I wanted to do this. And you go to open office and we have these just explained, installed. And this one is the other one. So the, the one we've installed right now. So you can make a document. Okay, fine. And you can make a spreadsheet. Okay, good. And we have a presentation. And then it's up to you. Do you like the presentation? Do you like how slick it is? How clean it is? 
do you have enough of these steps or do you, are you missing some of them do you have more or can you find your way in this rather than in Word and Excel and in PowerPoint so these guys that's the possibility save as I went here to look for this and immediately he says already save as docx so that's a good thing that this thing just does save as and then provides an xlsx version that's a template you can also save in the ODT, OTS so an open document open office format so that's great that there is possibility to uh, change between but often I do not I do not recommend changing between um, well office suits then you stay in one and you write and stay working in Linux that's my advice but you can try to see if you can write a document here and see if it's open up nice in Word and then go back with the changed Word document and go back to this one and, and vice versa keeping go keep going like that but um, I think you'll lose some of the, 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 the templates or the indentations or any of the settings so the point for the video is just to install it and quick show quick look what it all is we can connect to the cloud we have some settings that we can do okay we can change the language to Italiano applica all right so we have documento folio folio di calcolo calcolo I hope so presentazione e fili recenti apri fili locali connetti al cloud Hello. so uh, I think it's this one <laughs> said it back to English oh my Italian is so rusty so there you go guys this is only office maybe that's something you'd like to try out all right cheers